This is Mr. Rickard. He has come to the Cameroon for Christ's crusade with the problem of difficulty in walking due to knee luxation and using a pair of crutches. He has come believing Jesus Christ for his healing. My name is Rika Kletus Tita. I'm from the northwest region of Cameroon. The problem that brought me here is difficulty in walking due to luxation of knee as knee rupture. And I'm using crutches. I've been using it all this while since I had accident. Without the crutches, I cannot move an inch, I cannot walk, I cannot even stand well erect. The consequences are enormous. In fact, I cannot be able to do my duty. I'm a teacher by profession. I cannot stand up and teach in the class. I can't even go to school because I cannot climb. I cannot descend. I can't even go to church to worship because I cannot climb. I cannot descend any small hill. And not only that, it has disturbed my family life because I find it difficult to even pay school fees for my children and take care of my family. I've been to herbalist, bone herbalist, so many of them. I've been to hospital, to government hospital, to no avail. I've been to mission hospital, to no avail. And so I've decided to come to seek the face of God here now. In Bingo Hospital, they, they operated one side and it could not really function well. The kneecap is supposed to be here. You see this hole? It's a here it is now here due to the accident so this is a kneecap here like this i've come to seek the face of god this is my last bus stop and god will use him to heal me I cannot stand, I cannot do anything, I cannot walk. That's the stuff my whole family life. One of them are up in Canada. He's using crutches for nine months now. He cannot carry on his activities very well. He has been using crutches for nine months now. He has been using crutches for nine months now. He has disturbed all my activities. He has disturbed my family life. He has disturbed my own activities. No other thing I can do. I can't stand. I can't even go to school. I won't even wash because I can't go to the house to wash because I can't walk, I can't climb, I can't descend. So before I'm here, they do have stuff up behind me to get from here. That is not me telling my life. I started all my activities. You've gone through an operation before? Yes, I've done. They have tried to do one operation on the left side of which I don't want. I'm using this torture because without it, I cannot stand. I want to stand, I can only hold it. Support me, support me, support me. And I want to stop to walk in this and I only need to push. If Jesus now healed you and you walk without using the crutches, how will you feel? I will give glory to God. I will be very happy. I will just because I know that Jesus is Lord and there's nothing which is impossible to Jesus. I will give glory. I will worship you forever. Okay. You believe? I believe in Jesus. The mind of Jesus is that one. This is healing taking place in the name of Jesus Christ through his anointed servant, Apostle John Chi. Jesus Christ healed and he still heals all manner of sickness and disease as he uses the faculties of Apostle John Chi to give peace and comfort in the life of Mr. Rickard. Now walk in Jesus' name.
is Mr. Rickard doing what he could not do before after receiving healing in the power of the Holy Ghost through Apostle John Chi? Mr. Rickard works in his garden showing that he has been completely set free in the name of Jesus Christ. The evidence of Jesus Christ is our rising and walking. My name is Rika Kletustita. I'm a teacher by profession. Beside that, I also do farming. I'm here in uh, Binjam, opposite the government primary school Binjam, and this is my farmhouse. As you can see uh, here, this is my farmhouse at Binja and my some part of the farm. After the accident, I couldn't teach, stand up alone. I couldn't do anything with force. I only sit down or lie down. Three people had to carry me and or oh, I sit on a tricycle. And later on, I had crushes after the operation in the hospital. I could not move without the crushes. I can't even stand erect like this without the crushes. On the 28th of February, I went for the, the crusade in Douala, and uh, the man of God, John Chi, prayed for me, and God took the, the crutches I was using to walk, took it away. Since then, 28th, I've not been using the crutches again, and I'm now feeling fine that I can even come to my farm and walk. Sir, you permit us to listen to some of your neighbors who saw before, be able to testify. Mama? My name is Irene. You sabi this brother? I'm a neighbor. I know you. And I will see where the worker is crossing for your auntie. I can't salo you. When my neighbor now, if you walk a fine, we will know nothing for your auntie. I don't see the worker empty. So they did enter farm. Move grass, do all things, make planting. When that time, they only go back. We will carry you, turn and so. You can see I've been on my legs for the past two hours non-stop. I've not even sat down and I don't feel like sitting down. Now I can put my water down anywhere and beat myself, you can see. I could not even sit in the toilet, but I sit, you can see me, I go down to the toilet, I can see. No, you talk of I use I can move anywhere, I can go to anywhere. I want to go. You see, you can see me removing my grass. Can oh, see it myself now. Doing it. I cannot move on my own and climb anywhere I want to go to. The man of God, Apostle John Chi of the Ghost of Ministry, has sent us with an assistant for you to assist you get some beverages and some other needs that you have. It's a hundred thousand plus EP. Wonderful. I never just dreamt of this before. That it's God will send somebody to heal me and then to give me again. To appreciate that it means that this kind of people I have never seen in Cameroon. I don't see men of God like this in Cameroon. I don't know. He's just come. And so we ask that God will bless him. I personally pray that God will bless him more and more, give him more anointing, and then so that he can work more and help many other men, as you can see. wonderful the thing I've never seen I've never received that from any church organization this is wonderful so I think that God will bless the man of God and give him more so I can also help other